Hello, dudes and dudettes. Welcome back to All the Mods 7 to the Sky, everyone. Last episode, we set up the uh, unlimited resources, and guys, we have too many of them. We are be oh look at all the diamonds we have by the way yeah we have a lot well, I've been turning I've been turning all of the emeralds into diamonds so uh, yeah oh wait give me that so as you can see we just do this bam look at all those that's another stack of diamonds that's how we've been getting so many of them um, but yeah we have so many of the pieces here I also went ahead and put the flint into a drawer there was just so there's so much flint or there was obviously five point seven thousand. Um, but yeah, we, well, my gosh, we filled up two diamond chests, which is nuts. So yeah, we're going to do something about this today, guys. We are going to be getting the flux compactor and then we're going to be getting a smelter for all these guys, which is going to be sweet. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get the far departed here, but in order to do that, to make a flux compactor, right, everything looks pretty simple except for the redstone comparator. And that's going to require us to get some nether quartz, which means we have to um, either make soul sand or crush netherrack. Now, uh, soul sand, we knew we do need witch water and sand. Uh, and then to get witch water, you need mycelium, which you get from this item. But we don't want to really worry about that today. So what we're going to do is get the crushed netherrack here. And then to get netherrack, all you need is lava plus redstone equals netherrack. So I did go ahead and make a stone barrel here for our entertainment purposes only. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the lava, click it, bam, there we go. Lava, take it, redstone. So this is a very simple process here. We are going to amplify our lava production here pretty soon uh, because we only have the one. Um, and mechanism has an item called the superheating element that will allow us to really make a lot of lava real quick. So here we go. We have crushed netherrack, and with crushed netherrack, we can sift it. With diamond mesh, we have a 20% chance of getting netherrack. We have a 0.4 and a 0.8% chance of getting another red scrap, gold, cobalt, and then rose quartz. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a go and see how this far departs. All right, so we didn't get any netherite um, scraps, but we did get one nether quartz, which is all we need in order to make the flux boy here. So I did go ahead and smelt up some smooth stone, so we don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and make some dish. There we go. Um, yeah, I believe that's everything we need. One, two, three. And we should be able to go like this. Yes, there we go, perfect. So let's take a little bit of iron. Uh, like this. There we go. And let's see, we just need the hopper and the piston. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to need four of those. Uh, three of these. Wait, how many pistons do we need? Oh, we need a lot more than that. Twelve. Okay, so that should be enough to make three pistons. Beautiful. So let's go ahead here. We just need to make a hopper. And we'll just make a chest. Crafting with Super Turtle. Very cool. Okay, so here we go. Flux compactor right here. Um... I think we're gonna want to replace this. All right, so that's going in, aluminum. And where is the output? That is the question. Um, we're gonna, whoops. Whoops, I'm trying to make a chest with wood. Okay, so we have an eye on top. I think it might be on top. Otherwise, let's do that. No, still not working. Hmm. Where is the item come out? We got space. Hmm. Maybe we need to do some more research. Okay, so flux boy here, and we'll grab this chest. 
All right, so dead in front of it. Put some aluminum. All right, so just charging up. We did waste a lot of RF there, so I just realized. Okay, so nothing there. Um, to the left. Nope. All right. Uh, to the right. Nope. All right. Above. I mean, I think we've already tried this, but I'm going to place it directly on it. Nope. Okay. Below. I have to break it one more time. I know it's a waste. Okay. I don't like it either. Uh, do I have any more of those cables left? Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So we'll do here. All right, and then, oh, and then below. Yes, okay. So below is where it's got to go. Very cool. Oh, but KB. So what that means for us, is we probably want to bring this one up, and then we put the flux boy here. We can put all of these in. This is going to now become our buffer chest. Uh, this guy right here. Uh, and yeah, so things will get good. We'll break it. We'll take that risk. We took it. We did the risk. Give me that. Okay, so now it has somewhere to put those items. All right, and I think a high priority for that is to get some speed upgrades on it. We want that faster than this guy. Um, yes, we want this guy speedy quick. I mean, it's doing pretty good. I mean, it works nine at a time, but we do need those. Oh, we do need those upgrades. Um, so let's see here. At X, bam, numero uno. Um, do I have any more of the clay? No, we are out of the hardened clay. Okay. Um, that's kind of okay. So what I've been doing lately is I've been making the the compact items because they take a little bit longer to break, but I mean this is this is a full stack, right? So like bam. All right, sand. And then it's not going to give us compact it's just gonna give us a full thing cool so and then we come over here look at that it's pretty neat okay so we have enough here uh, we're going to oh wait let's make 16 of them Okay, so we got 16. The reason why we did that is because we wanted to. No other reason. Uh, oh, shoot. That's not good. It's putting the items straight in. Where is my wrench? Where did my wrench go? Where my wrench? Where my wrench? Where my wrench? There it is. Pipe wrench. We want this to not be connected. Bad. Okay, that's okay. Bad. All right, let's go ahead and make a little bit of a cyan die. Perfect. And we're going to need a little bit more cactus. Yes. I just smelt those. Beautiful. Okay, so I want to go ahead and make a energized smelter here. Now I don't I know we don't really have the power to do that. However, we're still going to try 
to get this to work here, but we need some steel in order to do that. So I've loaded up 21 pieces of coal into this guy, and we're going to go ahead and process these 16 ingots up, and it should give us, uh, let's see here. Yeah, enriched iron, and then we run it back through again, and it'll give us steel, um, steel dust. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right meow, and once that's good to go, I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got five steel ingots now. Yep, I just got a quest completion there. So we need osmium and some glass. Uh, I do believe I have some osmium left over. Otherwise, yeah, we got to smelt it up just a little bit. Uh, no worries there. And check it out. We do have uh, resources being filtered here. However, when these go in, they do not get processed. Um, so we're going to need a way to filter out the cinnabar the niter, the uh, appetite, sulfur, all of those things uh, separately. And I do believe uh, we're probably just going to need to upgrade our system here and maybe even our little island uh, so that we can, you know, uh, set up a, a better power generation, uh, you know, more optimized uh, production of of our ores but yeah like we are we're getting a significant amount of resources here which is amazing so really excited about that um yep, there's our osmium do we have any glass we got glass cool so energized smelter here you are perfect let's take four redstone uh put it here we only need two osmium to be processed and that should be everything we need for a energized smelter from Mechanism. So super excited about that. Yep, there's one basic control circuit here. We've got more osmium. And this will mean that we are like automating the system here. So we're going to put the energized smelter right here. And then we'll probably put another diamond chest on top. I might steal one of those temporarily. But yes, here we go. Energized smelter. Uh, oh, we're missing four redstone. There we go, and shebang. Perfect, we have an energized smelter. We're gonna put that right here, it has power. And the reason we put it right there is so that, uh, do we have any more item cables? I don't think we do. I might need to craft some more of those up real quick. Tis a no worry. All right, here we go. We have some more item cables. Beautiful. So we're going to take it right out of here. And we are going to start smelting them up. But we need input here, output, eject on. We're going to turn off those. And we should be okay. So let me grab a chest here. All right, we'll upgrade this guy up to the top tier. Or not top tier, but... Oh, we need one more. Gold. Embarrassing. All right. Here we go. Diamond chest. Shebang. And there we go. We have automated our system here, guys. So... We literally do not have to touch it, and it will continue to run. However, I do believe we are really scraping by. Uh, we need to let me make some energy upgrades for the smelter. Um, let's go at. I don't want this to destroy our system because it's using 20 Fe, and that's a lot. So we're going to make 16 of those. So we need 16 pieces of iron. And 16 correlating redstone. Actually, I think we only need 8 correlating redstone. So I'm going to let these process up here. And then we're going to utilize these into making the upgrade. Um, we also need a hammer um, from Immersive Engineering. We're going to use this one because it's pretty cheap. And we have everything we need for it already. All right. Here we go. We're going to take some of our gold. Oh, we already have gold dust. Perfect. Okay. Well, maybe we need some sand? Yes. Yes, we do. We need some sand. Okay, so we're going to need at least 16 sand. I've got a sand block here. So we can start smelting up those. 
Alrighty. Cool. So we have more sand. 54. We'll get those smelting up too. So we'll have the proper amount. Um, nope. We are going to need more redstone. How much does it use per? 10. Uh, so we do need one for one. Okay. So we can start crafting up some of these guys. We have four. Very cool. Oh, I picked it up. Okay, so yeah, now we're not using any power. Um, did I break it? Yeah, I broke it. Oh, you know, we were using zero power per tick, and I fixed it. What is wrong with me? Well, that was a freebie. In case you guys saw that, you can do that. But we're only using four FE per tick. <laughs> oh, I feel cheaty. This is cheaty. <laughs> it's still processing it. Looks at 20. Um, 21. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's actually... Well, it says it's not utilizing any power. It probably is. You know, let's just give them the benefit of the doubt with that one. But that's pretty cool. We'll continue to upgrade it. Uh, so now we're still using 0 FE per tick. However, I am going to break it. Okay, so two FE per tick, and then we have our last one here. That is Dunsky, beautiful, and this will be maxed out energy upgrades, and we are at two FE per tick processing this. Very cool. And so with what I wanna do with mechanism is we can make these upgrades here, and I would love to make those real quick. Um, so we can process more items at a time. So we don't have the potential to get backed up, which is always good. Um, we need osmium right here. Perfect. Uh, one, two, four, two of those. And wood, redstone. Was that osmium on the sides? So it was just iron. Nice. Okay. We only need two. Going a little overzealous with that. All right, we need one piece of wood. There you are. And completed. Very cool. Uh, oh, four redstone. Okay, and basic tier upgrade. There we go. Whoa. Shebang. Four FE per tick. Really? That's a little weird to me. But yes, we are producing more now, which is amazing. Um, yeah. So I think the next upgrade we need to do for our base is to actually expand it. Um, yeah, is to expand the base. Let's go ahead and make a couple more of those gold upgrades. Let's sleep real quick. All right, so we have everything to go ahead and make a couple more of these gold upgrades, which is really cool. Um... Oh, wait, I think I just upgraded that one. Yeah, so we are at tier three, so it's processing eight per. We're using 64 RF per tick. So yeah, we are, uh, yeah, we're utilizing too much of the system here. It's not gonna last very long, but that's okay because we're gonna start to upgrade these guys a bit more, which is awesome. Um, so I'm going to make a couple more of these off camera. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. And guys, remember, I do. I am gonna start streaming over on Twitch, so make sure you follow me there. Link down in the description below. We're probably gonna do some base expansion here within the next couple of days. So I'd love to see you all then. We're gonna be live streaming that. Might be on YouTube, might be on Twitch. I don't quite know yet. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye bye.